Hello and welcome. You're watching the newsroom on TV360 Nigeria. I am Aneta Felix. President Muhammad Buhari has commiserated with the government and people of Zamfara State on the recent infiltration of bandits who attacked Safe local government area of the state and killed many. In a statement by his special aide, Gaba Shehu, the president condemns the attack and assured residents of Zamfara that he's putting in new security measures to curtail the activities of criminals. He stated that banditry will soon be a thing of the past and urged Nigerians to have faith in the security agencies by giving them useful information on plans and the movement of bandits. Olu Onemola, special assistant on social media to former Senate President Bukola Taraki, has rejected the appointment of Senate President Ahmed Lawan as special assistant on new media. Onemola said he would, quote, respectfully like to be excused from taking up this national assignment given his antecedents and the controversy it has generated, end of quote. The Senate President has since approved his resignation and wished Onemola all the best in his future endeavors. Bochi State Governor Bala Mohammed has revealed that his predecessor, Mohammed Abubakar, spent 2.3 billion naira on funeral materials between January and May 2019. In a statement released by his spokesperson, Ladan Saluhu, the governor reveals that the government has documentary evidence to substantiate the allegation. Saluhu said the government would use every means possible to retrieve the money stolen by the last administration. Justice Ayakunle Faji of the Federal High Court in Lagos State on Monday has issued a bench warrant for the arrest and prosecution uh, in court of CEO of Innocent Nigeria Limited, Innocent Chukuma. The court also granted a warrant for the arrest of two others over fraud allegations. Now, the Central Bank of uh, Central Bank Governor Godwin Emefele on Monday unveiled his economic blueprint for the country. Speaking during a media briefing held at the Apex Bank headquarters in Abuja, Emefele promised to recapitalize banks within the next five years to make them contribute significantly to economic growth. The governor said he would work with deposit money banks in the next five years to boost credit to the real sector as well as the creative and education sector. Six street children have been killed after a wall fell on them while they were sleeping in a drain storm in Kampala, Uganda. The police said the perimeter of the wall of the school gateway collapsed on the children, killing six of them on the spot and injuring two. The spokesman said police were trying to establish the identities of the children and track down their families. In sports, Real Madrid is set to launch a women's team to compete in the top flight from next season. Madrid have already purchased CD Tacon, based in the Spanish capital, who have won promotion to the La Liga uh, Iberdrola for 400,000 euros. The club will be absorbed by the 13 times European champions and will train and play at Real's training ground. And that's it from here on the newsroom on TV360 Nigeria. Do join us at 3 p.m. West African time for more updates. Bye for now.